Hello YouTube, it's your boy Olo Jami here with a video giving you some information on how to get rid of your Joy-Con drift. First things first, before we get into getting rid of the Joy-Con drift, we must find out what causes the Joy-Con drift. Joy-Con drift is caused by the dust that's actually inside of the joystick, as you can see here. So like around around like inside that little dome thing, there's like a shit ton of dust in, I mean uh, a crap ton of dust inside of the joystick. It's not actually like anything to do with the uh, mechanics of the controller, it's just dust. So if this happens to you, don't worry, this isn't your fault, it's nature's fault. I am wearing glasses right now, which means what I am saying is most definitely true. Here is the technique I'm going to show you. Now, I have a question for you, the viewer. What is the best way of getting rid of dust? Yes sir, with a vacuum of course. As you can see here, this drift is disgusting. This is the Joy-Con I'm currently calibrating on the uh, on the Switch and um, this this looks like I'm trying to drift in like Mario Kart or some shit, bro. Like, what? What the fuck? What is this? As you can see, nothing is nothing's even touching this shit. It's just the dust inside. Now here is the technique. I actually did explain this technique on one of my streams. Oh, did somebody say stream? Yeah, Twitch Olo Jam. You can follow me if you haven't followed me already. But that's besides the point. So what we're gonna do? We are going to suck all the dust out of the um the Joy-Con, and that should fix everything. <clears throat> So, without further ado, let me show you. Now, you want to be careful and not, like, um, get your Joy-Con sucked, get your Joy-Con sucked into the, the vacuum, because that would, uh, that would be no good. So, yeah, wait, what you want to do is put the, oh, shit, I guess just fucking, oh, What you're gonna want to do is put the Joy-Con, put the vacuum on the joystick like like this. So like just literally just insert that shit in, bro. And then just turn it on. Now I am sucking all of the dust out of the Joy-Con. Leave it in for let's say 30 seconds. Okay, we have soaked the dust out of the Joy-Con, but that may not be enough, depending on how bad your drift is. So if your drift is very terrible, you're gonna want to um turn the Joy-Con around a little bit and like suck out each section, like each side of the joystick, like so. Now, for the finishing touch, I will be putting my Joy-Con in the, into the vacuum for another 30 seconds or so. So, let's go. And now, as you can see, I can uh, my Joy-Con is now no longer drifting. Now you see, with drift, drift doesn't actually go away permanently, um, unfortunately. But this technique will help it go away for at least at least a year. Let's let's say a year. So yeah, as you can see, I have proven that this has worked. I'll move my Joy-Con accordingly now. Um, go to the left a little. Why what? No, ignore that. So what? Okay, I'm I'm not I'm to, uh, that, that sorry that was just me that was my dome just bugging out on my joystick ignore that let's move to the top to the right to the bottom to the left again and yeah we should be good and there you have it that's how you fix Joy-Con drift uh, it's been your boy Olo Dijami and as always have yourselves a damn good one. Seeing more behind the frame, future brother feel the shake. Thinking ain't nobody feel the way I do, but someone gotta feel the same. Yeah, on the bright side. Yeah, this music kid became my only lifeline. Think I'm going crazy, I'm not in my right mind. Yeah.
Welcome to my life. Welcome to my life.